and we're live. <laughs> uh, did you see the new F-150 though, the Lightning? Yes. <laughs> Mm. Looks pretty good. So they're, they're I guess they've got a, a gasoline and an electric model. Obviously, the electric model is the cool thing. Two versions, um, one with like 230 rain, miles of range and one with 300 miles of range. And uh, I think the 300 mile range one is like mid fifty thousand dollar mark, but the other one is around forty three thousand. But then you've got that like um, federal uh, electric vehicle tax refund thing, which I believe is like something like seventy five hundred dollars, right? So seventy five hundred from forty three thousand, and you're into a pretty cheap electric F one fifty with two hundred thirty miles of range, and it's a four door. Yeah, I mean, oh, that was deal. one of the things. It's the Super Crew I read. Yeah, which is a. Is there more than one four door? Or does four door? I don't mean know. Super like they're crew? always changing shit, and I really yeah. don't keep up with the trends. I have a Super Crew. I have a Ford F one fifty. I have a King Ranch with a Super Crew. Oh, I like the King Ranch. Oh, it is. It, it it took me six months to find this truck. It's yeah, a special. Uh, it's called um. It's a kind of a brown metallic. It's it's gorgeous. Yeah, oh. but I, I got it. I've had it for a year. Then the then it comes out. They have the electric ones coming out. So I'm like, man, really? So what year is yours? 2020. 2020. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or, Mine's 2018. Or, so some. I, I would really like the generator, which I think came out in 2020. Anyway. Probably won't get it. Probably just drive this truck for a long time. But yeah, uh, but yeah they that, got a nice truck. The new electric F one hundred and fifty looks super cool. It does the electric thing, like it. it you can um, plug things into it if that's a part of your use case. I think it's not for you, but I would like to camp and have that giant battery. Ah, I could do a little camping every now and then if there's if there's weed involved. Okay, okay, I could see that. Yeah. Um, and it's super fast. <laughs> Like zero to sixty in less than four seconds. Does that? I think that's anything right. near four seconds. Zero to sixty in a truck is fast as hell. Yes. Yeah. It's 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 outrageously fast. It's really neat and it's uh, affordable. And they think they're it it could change the way that people think about electric vehicles, right? Because right I now they're kind of off to the side a little bit. Like the Teslas yeah. and it, it, Prius to some extent, or they're like, oh, it's a someone's made an alternative choice. But when there the F-150 go. is electric, someone's made a mainstream electric vehicle now. Mm -hmm. See how yeah, that affordably, changes the world. Affordably, affordably. Because, because like on the, on the, when you look at what Hummer's doing, right? They're making an electric Hummer. It's $100,000, right. okay? That's not a mainstream fucking vehicle. When you're talking about something that after the tax credit is going to be $36,000, that's enough... That's super affordable. That's that's super affordable. That's what like a new truck cost when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. I don't... But it makes me think: where are they cutting costs on that? Like what? I mean, my I have a King Ranch, which is it's a luxury truck, right? Right. And it costs a lot more than that. Yeah, so, yeah. so where are they saving the money? That can be the technology. It can't it be that It could be profit it, margins, too. Like, this is a, an investment right. in the future trying to get a foothold in EV before the other guys do. It's a loss leader. Then. It might be I have spite a, taking a bite out of Elon Musk as well. Yes, the, yeah. The I have a comparable truck. truck. I have the Platinum, which is, you know, not, not far from the King Ranch. And uh, I think they have a lot of profit margin in it. Like, that could you can, be... You can, um, you can look at the invoice. Um, the, it, it would have a good bit of profit margin in it, but... You know, it, well, actually, the, the invoice would have more to do with what the dealership is making. Uh, now that I yeah, think about it, that would forward. Has but built. but even the dealership has a lot of profit margin, like built into every one of those little accessories, from your you know nav system to your stereo to everybody's systems. making money off of those of us who paid two thousand dollars for an upgraded radio. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> when you're talking about a sixty, seventy thousand dollar truck, there's a lot of profit margin built in. It just had to have the running boards, you know. Just had to have Dude, them. I love my running boards. They go up and down when you open the door. <laughs> just had to have the running boards. I had know? to have them. And uh I had to have them. <laughs> I, I placed so much value and I still do I like it. My um cruise control slows down when I catch up to the car in front of me. And uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what I paid for that. It was worth a lot to me, but I'm sure the profit margins were delicious. You had the glass ceiling, the two panel glass roof. Yes, I, I it, in the lot loved it. I was like, man, this is amazing. It, it goes back so far. It's incredible, yeah. etc. I've opened that like twice in the last three years. I live in California. It's 110 degrees oh, okay. outside. I never use it. It like <laughs> yeah. um, bakes you inside. Like it's, yeah. I, I've opened it probably four times in two years. 
North Carolina has the best weather on the planet for four weeks a year. The two weeks headed into summer and the two weeks coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the times I might open it. So, yeah, but that, uh, that truck's really cool. And the price point is extraordinary. Um, if that, if that, I wonder when the release date is. I did, that I did not look up. Let me see. No. F-150. Lightning. I wonder if it's it's they have saved on the weight because when you pull the, the, the internal combustion engine out of it, you're probably taking a lot of weight out of the truck, right? Just a motor. I don't know the batteries. Well, the batteries are too. super heavy. Batteries. Spring of yeah. 2022 is the answer, Kyle. God damn it! It's always a year away, and then and then 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 next year, next January, it'd be like, yeah, maybe fall. Uh, you're thinking of Tesla. I bet Ford hits their dates. I could okay. be wrong. Holy but... shit. 563 horsepower, 775 <laughs> foot pounds of torque. And a half ton. Uh, and it's instantaneous torque, mind you, because it's electric. Like, this isn't. Holy shit. Standard range uh, model, 18 inch wheels can hold a maximum 2,000 pounds of payload, which is just comparable to, like, the standard one. Um, extended range battery, max tow package, 10,000 pounds of available tow towing capacity. It's blowing the Cybertruck away in towing capacity. What, is the to what does the Cybertruck have? It's far less, like like half that or less. I thought it was like th forty five hundred pounds of really? tow. Sounds like, like Ford is pushing their low, shit in. It's what I remember it being. I remember it being like, yeah, this isn't really for towing. I'll look it and, up. But the I, real concern will no, be like, no, I think you're off the... target. It's fourteen thousand pounds a Cybertruck. Oh my god, it to it, it it tows fourteen thousand. For how long? <laughs> yeah, that is across a good the, right uh, across minutes, from one end of the stage to the other. <laughs> you should see the Tesla's <laughs> copy on this. With the ability to peer to pull near infinite mass, <laughs> we attach the Tesla Cybertruck to the moon. <laughs> we attach it to a fucking black hole uh, a and a towing capacity, <laughs> and a towing capacity of over fourteen thousand pounds. The Cybertruck can perform in the extreme situation. Yeah, because I remember they um, towed a seven forty seven with the truck, like to show off how well it tows. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know how well it stops pulling a 747, but it... All right, so here's something interesting, Woody. I don't know if you knew this, because I didn't. In addition to connecting to your house when it needs to be recharged, the F-150 Lightning can also power your home if the lights go out, even yes. without the push of a button. Via its intelligent backup power feature, it can provide full home power for up to three days on a fully charged battery. So this is or interesting. As long as Little at this person's house. <laughs> or as long as 10 days if you're rationing the power for it. Say. You know it's going to power my house for like 90 minutes. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but here's the thing. I think, I could be wrong, but it was my understanding that's the charging station. So it, it charges like a mile an hour at 120, something like three miles per hour at 220. These numbers are from my memory. Well, can you explain? But what does that mean? Like voltage. how many, this is how much, oh, 120 and, and 240 are voltages, right? Okay. Like normal so, voltage so, so and like your dryer. Your, your PC is plugged into 120. Your, uh, your, your dryer your dryer's plugged into 220. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the higher one, it only does something, it adds like three miles of capacity to the truck's battery per hour. Right. So like overnight, it gets you somewhere, yeah. but eh. or you can have this charging station. And my understanding of how it works is it's like plugged into 220. So it's always filling its battery and then it can dump into the truck quickly. So it does something like 20 miles per hour. These numbers are from my memory. Mm hmm. The concept is this charging station always charges, always sort of tops off its battery so that it can dump quickly into the truck. Or in the case of a power outage, power your house. That's really cool. It's a neat idea. I wonder how much that really costs. Neat. I didn't see that. Yeah, I'd like to know. Like, if it's five grand? It changes a lot, too, because that's a thing. Like, you look at this truck and you say, ooh, 36,000. You have my attention. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Plus 20 to modify your house to charge it. <laughs> <laughs> and are you a renter? Because you're upgrading your landlord's home. Is that cool with yeah. you? Uh, I'm hoping that it's just something you just like wheel into your garage, sit over there, like like do some basic wiring, and you're good. Like if, they, if, if that's right here, accomplished. It, it says right here that cost of installation is between $800 and $1,300. No big deal. And, and a solar system, a solar power went seven thousand dollars and up. That's what I'm reading oh, right that's now. the cost of installation. Does it include the cost of the unit, or is that labor? Like, yeah, because I can install it myself. Uh, yeah, it says the range across the country varies up to fifteen thousand dollars in uh, California. The six kilowatt system, which is the 
uh, it's twelve thousand dollars to fifteen thousand dollars. Jesus Christ! Well, don't do it there. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, there's charging stations everywhere out here. Could go anyway. do it in fucking Utah or something, I guess. Like, like every parking lot I go to has, you know, multiple charging stations. Really? I don't. I still don't see a ton of them. Like when I notice like them, I'm like, oh, like a tang- I don't know if you have Tanger outlet there. Like, like you go to like a shopping mm-hmm. center or like a like a like strip mall, a mall, or like a nice restaurant. There's a charging station. Every yeah. parking garage has multiple ones in Atlanta. Yeah, parking garages. I've seen them. We we have a lot out here. A lot. Yeah, for sure. In California. That would make but, sense in California. Yeah, and a lot of the higher end uh, parking areas, you see the first like you have the handicap row, then you have the charging row. So if you're driving gas powered vehicles, you're way in the back of the lot. Ah. As you should be, you internal as combustion you, you monster. Neanderthal. <laughs> yeah, assholes. Dinosaur ruining the environment killer. for fun. So, Woody, are you going to... Uh, this wasn't uh, this, this lightning wasn't announced before you bought your, your current new truck, right? True. It's not new anymore. It's a 2018, I think. I guess. Is there any part of you that's like, I, I kind of want to give the lightning a go? Because I know you're not, you're not going to do the, the cyber truck. I'm like eighty percent full of crap though. Every year I think, ooh, this new one looks better than mine, and uh, I don't yeah. do it. I'm actually interested. Mm-hmm. Like, like I'm gonna take a look at it because, like, I do like the idea of a super fast fucking truck because it like clicks a lot. I don't know, but not, at the end of the day, I'm still driving a Ford. I don't know, man. I I, I got the uh, twin turbos in mine. It jets, man. I I can jump on I can jump on a highway pretty freaking quick. <laughs> <laughs> so Jesus Christ, how long, <laughs> what's the longevity on a twin turbo King Ranch though? Lately, right? Like, no, man. I'm tell you what, I'm taking it to the edge. For <laughs> now, it's good. <laughs> I drive that, it a lot, man. That was the same question I had, right? Like 15 years from now, when your truck is not yours anymore, and some lawn crew is using is pulling around their <laughs> mowers and a trailer, are they, is that twin turbo really still going to be doing its job? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Call Jose's Express Service for your lawn. We're done same day, very quick. Before the calls, before you hang up, we're there. <laughs> they get out of the truck. They're all wearing racing helmets. <laughs> they got a roll cage on their their fucking truck. I like Jose's to think they've a got fire suit, twin turbo, zero turn mowers to rip it all out. A twin turbo mower. <laughs> Yeah. For when you really fucking hate grass. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to mow it. I hate it. I, I abhor grass. Uh, I'm that, struggling to get a price on the charging station. Yeah. I, I, I would... I don't know. I, I would bet are, yeah. that there's... Go to, Ed, go to Edmunds. Edmunds, mm. E-D-M-U-N-D-S. They're like a... You know Edmunds, right? Sure. Yeah. yeah. I used to sell cars. True cost of powering an electric car. Kilowatts, not gallons. But it's the... Yeah, well, what's coming like, in? I'm looking okay. at it here. Like, the thing I like about the Cybertruck is how ridiculous it looks. Like, mm. I actually, I really like the, how ridiculous it looks. And Ford, obviously, looks like a Ford. And like, well, there's nothing wrong with that. But it is a boxy truck, you know, um, which isn't my favorite uh, look. I really like how ridiculous the Cybertruck looks. That's interesting too. Like um, Ford and somebody else came out with uh, electric vehicles, electric trucks that aren't going to be like. Uh, I'm looking for a parallel to wind resistance that is buyer resistance, right? You know, yeah. th- if you could just imagine in your head some straw chewing Trump voter who's buying his replacement truck who doesn't want a Rivian or a Cyber Truck. You know, mm-hmm. he wants something that looks like. The truck he's always had, and Ford and whoever else is, is going to fill that niche. And yeah. if it's that much cheaper, like they don't even need to be going for a niche. Like they're going to pick up everybody who is enthralled by the idea of an electric truck. And who I mean, said, the Tesla's also oh, right the Tesla, there. that's such a cool idea. Well, but don't to get that like really high level of Tesla, isn't that like 85,000 compared to like 30 um, grand less? I think it's like 40, 50, 60 as you step up in the uh, range and power. Um, oh, I thought but, there was like, like some 10k edition that all of them needed. So it was like, oh, that's like self-driving. A, if you wanted to be self-driving, it's oh, okay. 8k on top. Of and, the F- and the F-150 has true four, has four motors. Each wheel has its own. I'm looking at the frame right now. It has each wheel has its own motor. Well, that's mm. actually interesting. Dude, dude, you know what they should do? A tank mode, right? You should be able to go two forward, two reverse, and just <laughs> let, like a tank. Yeah. Why you wouldn't could, it do that? You could you pivot be able in to place. Add when I park, I want to be able to like t- 
turn 90 degrees, back up, turn 90 degrees, and like parallel parking is a thing of the past. I bet that's going to be Tesla there. truck like, There's two. no reason it shouldn't be able to do that with four independent motors. Yeah, definitely. That's a really good idea. That sounds Elon? pretty fucking cool. Elon, get on the phone with the engineers. Get a move. And you know there's going to be some sort of smart system where like, you know, some sort of weird like um, um, traction control system that's really de delivering the power perfectly to all four wheels all the time. Yeah, they're pretty close to that now. Well, the Audi Quattro has that, right? Does it? Yeah. Yeah, a lot yeah. of those all-wheel drive, like, high-end things are already doing that. But when you've got, like, an independent motor for each one, you can really see yeah. some, uh, some possibilities it, no, there. That's what you share about the Lightning. It has a um, – I'm looking at it in, on Forbes. Forbes has a big article about it. And it has – as the tail light goes across the tailgate, down, mm -hmm. it's like a big – so the whole back light lights up. It's sharp looking. Now, now, you, now you got me thinking, you bastards. <laughs> it looks cool, uh, this, this King Ranch twin turbo, I don't even want it. It's like going to a strip club, you know. I want one of those. <laughs> <laughs> then you spend all your money on that stripper, and you go, ah, but this other one's got bigger tits, so I want that one. <laughs> I'm out of money. I already, I already give you got, Did, did your truck turbo. have the thing where, like, your, uh, your, your phone just opens the truck when you walk up to it, if your phone's in your pocket? Well, what, oh, what's no. cool? The key does. What's that. really cool here is that it has a front trunk. It has a has a, a, a trunk space where the ah, engine was. Trunk. It has a has a you have golf clubs. It's a, you have a front, isn't it? The bed yeah. and you have the front as storage. Dude, you have, if you haven't seen the front on the F one hundred and fifty, the grill lifts with the hood, mm -hmm. and it's yeah. almost alarming. Like it's like a tailgate in the back almost. Like you get right into it. You can sit on the front it comfortably. It's it's I've never seen another car like that. But you're like, yeah, why wouldn't it do that? Why would you have a dumbass bucket in the front when you could raise the grill with it? It's cool. It's a good design. Okay, yes. I'm reading. Oh, so this is interesting. The entry model is commercially oriented, while the more equipped mid series XLT is fifty three thousand dollars. Ah, uh, they they may be selling a forty thousand dollar truck with rubber floor mats and cloth seats. That's probably what we're talking. Well, about. Well, that you, you can buy that now. You, you know, that's yeah. I, I'm sure they can't a, a platinum for forty grand. I mean, we'd all yeah, be running yeah. by now. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think I think the uh, the Tesla is still the, uh, the the cheaper version as far as like getting the most bang for your buck. But, but then, this is cool. I, there's so much to know, right? Does Ford include ten thousand dollars worth of self driving? In that 50, 40 grand model? No. Are you I, sure? I'm almost... It would be in this article if it did, right? It would be the first thing. It'd be the top of the page. And it drives itself. Ford has self-driving as an option on this truck, I think. Am I wrong about that? My friends and I were talking about it. That's what they told me. I didn't see it, but, um, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's possible, I suppose. But I don't know. I, I'm still leaning toward the Tesla if I were to get an electric truck, for sure. Uh, is it the look that still pulls you over? Yeah, yeah, the look novel? for sure. But but also like like I know that the Tesla just comes with lots of accessories at forty thousand dollars. Like it's going to have leather seats and nice carpets, yeah. and it's going to look look they, nice. They don't mm -hmm. call it self driving; they call it hands free driving. Mm -hmm. So I, it what it probably is is the the cruise control I have now, adaptive cruise control, which is really really good. Like, it really does pace the car in front of you nice. If you're in traffic, it'll handle stop-and-go traffic. Like, that much is good. My truck sucks at steering, though. So you, you kind of have to do that part. Starting, I think, last year, they did lane centering, which just keeps you in the middle of the lane. You add lane centering to their already good adaptive cruise control, you're, I get, they probably call that self-driving. Yeah, essentially, yeah. The, the goal, obviously, is that car that, you know, you can send to go get its own oil changed. That would be amazing. But I'll tell you, if it just handled the highway part of any drive, that would be the bulk of the value to me. For like sure, it, for sure. I it, agree 100%. But, but imagine if, like, because it does annoy me when I'm going to change my oil. I'm like, ah, oh, i got to go do a thing. i got to go to that place. Where do I want to go? And <laughs> what kind of oil do I put in here again? And it's just like, but if I could just be like, if I could literally go to my phone and be like, oil mode. <laughs> And just hear the garage door open up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Car comes back in an hour. 
This you is know what silly they should have is, is self defense mode. So if like Wait. you you know that intruders are like coming up your driveway, you go Tesla truck defend the home, and it goes yes master, and then it runs them down. It runs them down. Legal. I feel like I'm the only guy who noticed Kyle once automated oil changes on his electric truck. Uh, that's a good point, right? <laughs> yeah, you know what like, I mean? Man, that, that's going to ruin your. Tr- <laughs> yeah. You know, you, you want to be able to send it out on food runs where you like you put the order in and then the automated <laughs> voice says to the Taco Bell window like one cheesy chalupa and then it pulls up. <laughs> it, it'll have to have some sort of trebuchet system to fire the cash into the, <laughs> yeah. into the window. <laughs> yeah, maybe, it's a, a high tech fucking beautiful truck pulls up and then like a, a marble falls and like a Rube Goldberg machine to throw change at the woman. <laughs> I, I, I guess I give the car my debit card, right? I can trust my car with my debit card. He can, he can swipe it for them. Yeah. And then like what if someone tries to get in and steal the car? What's the defense then? Uh, he, won't, he won't stand for that. Poison, poison spikes in the steering wheel. Ejector seat. When are we going to employ the injector seats? When is that going to become a thing? <laughs> How many seats do you want to have to buy? Like you don't want to. You're, now you're putting yourself out. How are you, are you gonna like squat in like a like a seated like wall sit on the way back to the Tesla dealership? Well, I've been ejected at that point. Like, like, no, not like, you. Someone who's trying to steal your your car. Oh, yeah, they've been ejected I, too. <laughs> so no, no one's safe. Like <laughs> everyone gets ejected. <laughs> please, please don't rob the car. We're both fucked. <laughs> no! <laughs> I, think, I, I think one of the options is going to be you can electrify the outside of the truck as a uh, as a loss prevention, Ooh. so you can put a thousand volts in it. So if you touch the car, you can kill people. So that would work. It probably burn through your battery though. Why just the outside? Right? It's just it detects that it's stolen. You just shock the driver. Yeah. Whoa! Shit. Now that's that's AI right there. Yeah, I, I'm digging it. But yeah, so my truck with the key fob in my pocket, when I touch the handle, it unlocks all the doors which Mm -hmm. is cool, but it makes me feel like it's my superpower, like it's my hand doing it and not the key fob. So when I don't have my key fob and it doesn't obey me, I'm like, the fuck? You know me, but it doesn't. You you, you can (laughs) set that to open when you walk up to it automatically. You can set that up so I can mine. Once I'm within three feet, it'll open up automatically. 